Hey, hey, welcome back to Uncle Bud's Recipes. This is, I am making another dish that's going to go great, great for the man cave. Who in the world does not like macaroni and cheese? I don't know anybody. There might be some, but they're rare. Okay, remember in video number two, number one, this is video number two, by the way, macaroni and cheese. Video number one, I had put four cups, but or four cups, four tablespoons of butter in this to four tablespoons of all-purpose flour and I made a roux with that and then I put uh, I added my two cups of cream and like a cup of milk to make this sauce now I said in video one that this sauce is good for number of dishes and it is it is however you might not want that much much cream and milk you might want a little less of one or whatever you know but I like my cheese to be creamy my macaroni and and I've also told you that I've got a text version of macaroni and cheese that where you bake off and I've got it listed in Uncle Buzz recipe Uncle Buzz recipes um, but I believe for this occasion see I'm making this for church Oh, that makes it too dry. And I really want this to be creamy, creamy, creamy. <laughs> what you heard drop there was a sleeve of butter crackers. We're going to add those to after it's all mixed up we're going to add those to the uh, macaroni and cheese gives it just a little bit more body I'm gonna crush them up of course okay now look at there looky there that roux is thickening up isn't it Don't forget the onions. The onions give this give the flavor a, a, a really deep body to it that you won't get otherwise. <laughs> this beats the packaged macaroni and cheese to to smithereens. I'll tell you. okay now we're about ready to add the cheese this is the cheese this is about a cup uh, I'd say about three cups shredded cheddar to a cup and a half of American cheese and uh, while this is happening, what I can do is, while well, you can watch, I am crushing a sleeve. Well, not quite the whole sleeve of these butter crackers. And I'm gonna put, and that's one of my secrets. We'll just do about half the sleeve.
and talk about good good flavor okay look see how that uh, cream let's make sure the macaroni's not sticking I'm gonna have to drain that in a minute but I want you to notice how this cream is thickening up cream does that so you, you, you need you, you need to keep stirring a little bit Now, do not add the butter crackers to the roux because if you do, it'll make the roux thicken up too much. Okay. Okay, start adding the cheese. A little at a time you don't want to add it all at once okay I'm going to drain that macaroni ahead and turn that burner off because I don't want the macaroni burning Now you see, uh, you didn't see what I did, but what I did was now after you drain it, give your give it a good shake in the sieve, put it back in the hot pan. And take your pan and put it back here. Okay. Whisk. Whisk your roux. Just keep whisking it. Okay, now here we go with some more of the cheese. Put some of that American cheese in it. See the American cheese in there? All right. Now we give this a whisk. See how it's starting to yellow? <clears throat> oh yes. 
what is no man cave is complete without kids in it <laughs> you know what I'm doing here I'm making kids favorites one of kids favorites is macaroni and cheese Wow so in your man cave while you're enjoying well us grown-ups are enjoying our real hot stuff tamales and hot wings and you name it the munchkins can dine on macaroni and cheese I know what when my son was growing up it was one of his favorites the only thing I didn't like about the way John ate it he put ketchup on his macaroni and cheese hey if that's the way your kid likes it, let him eat it. All right, now look at there. Looky here. Looky here at this sauce. You see that sauce? Oh, see that sauce? See how nice, and pretty, and yellow it is? All right, turn the turn that burner off. Now remember, we turned this burner off you do recall that right grab you a wooden spoon because you're going to do some folding okay what I'm going to do is so you can see it okay I'm going to put this over here so you can see the walla drum roll now because it's almost macaroni and cheese give me a drum roll you know this is very economical to make very economical and if you noticed it don't take very long there's 16 minutes on that first video and right now I'm looking at 12 minutes so macaroni and cheese is generally a side so more than, more than likely you're not going to be making this much see what well, I'm going to do so I don't see why you can't make this two or three times a month. Kids love this stuff. All right, looky there. Looky there, children. Oh, what man cave would not. What man cave is complete without the macaroni and cheese? I'll tell you. Alright, now. Throw them bu crushed butter crackers in there. Woo, look at there, look at there, look at there. Look at there, it's going to thicken it up a little bit. Now, what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm going to be putting this in the slow cooker. Or in other words, most people call it a crock pot. To keep it warm, take to church. Ha 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 ha. But no Uncle Bud's recipe is complete without a taste test. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh, I 
need a little plate. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll not double dip the fork. I promise. Okay? I'll not double dip this. But I'm going to give it a bite, okay? So, here we go. Giving it a taste test. Perfect. A1 perfect. Mac and cheese. Now you know how to do it. For those of you that didn't know how to do it before. Now. I know a lot of you. <laughs> now, if you go to Uncle Bud's recipes to look this up, and you've never been there before, it's going to ask you to join. And it's free, and all your information, private information, is safe. You know, it's not going to get out. And. Um, Thank you for, for those who have already subscribed and keep watching because I'm going to keep, keep delving out these recipes. Well, goodbye for now.